Et je suis avec l'équipe de Fox Catcher. And I'm here with the crew of Fox Catcher in the official competition here in Cannes for the 67th Festival of Cannes. We have Bennett Miller. Welcome here. And welcome to your male uh, cast, uh, Channing Tatum. Thank you for being here, Steve and Mark, too. It's a pleasure to welcome you here. Bennett Miller, in discovering uh, this uh, event, uh, oh, what uh, gave you the idea of uh, making a film? Um, wow. This, well, it was, it's such a colorful story and a funny story mm -hmm. until it's not funny mm -hmm. and then it's not funny at all. And it just seemed to be uh, a very compelling, heartbreaking story mm -hmm. that the more I looked at it, mm -hmm. the bigger it became and the more it seemed to mean. You did a lot of research. Uh, you wanted to come as close as possible to the, possible the truth. Is this what you wanted to come to the truth of the story? Yeah, we spent about eight years developing it. Took eight years to get it made. And I, along with all of the actors, spent a lot of time with the real people who were involved in the story. And I think we all felt that we had to honor uh, what happened and the people who were involved. And uh, yeah, the, the truth is important. I can understand the importance of truth, but uh, Steve Carell, you are totally surprising, uh, unexpected. How did you approach this character? What interested you in John Dupont? How did you prepare for this role, Steve? Um, well, I, I prepared much in the same way that, that Bennett had laid out. Um, we, d we did a lot of research. We right. met many of the people who were there um, and pretty much read everything that I could find about him, saw every bit of videotape that I could find and, uh, and, and just tried to keep it as honest as I could and, uh, and respectful too because it's, it's a real story. So I think that was an enormous component of this is that we had a great deal of respect for the story and for the fact that, you know, real people were involved here. So there was, uh, you know, the, 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 that was important, I think, uh, all, for, for everyone. On à à un comme -là Can you uh, like a character like this to play it by him? Well, I don't think you approach a character like this with disdain. I, I, I think you just a, approach it as a human being. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and people are flawed and people are, are different. And, uh, and but, but I don't think as an actor you can make any sort of comment on the uh. character you're playing and, and that's really up to the viewer to decide. I can understand then Channing Tatum, you met Mark Schultz, uh, uh, he came here. How does it feel to be playing a, a role of someone who is on the set? How do you react there? Um, well, I can tell you, you take it a lot more serious when uh, somebody that is as capable of what he's capable of, uh, you just don't want him to kill you. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, I mean, just like Steve said, it, it definitely gives it a, a little bit more stakes, you know, things matter a little bit more than just acting well or, you know, you, you really want to do someone justice and you want to give someone a voice to something that's that's already happened to them in their life that they're still dealing with. and and. You know, and above all that, I just I love Mark, and uh, he, he's a he's a really special special person, and I spent a lot of time with him, and I, I think he's one of the most unique and talented people that I've met in a long time, and I hope he really likes the movie personally. He hasn't seen it yet. And Mark Ruffalo, there's a wonderful wrestling scene. Uh, they film opens a uh, 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 wrestling match between the two brothers. Uh, you play Dave, and these wrestling scenes are beautifully shot. And how do you prepare for wrestling? Because uh, how did you succeed in uh, wrestling on screen? With the mic, uh, Jenny, please. Yes. Um, well, we uh, we started wrestling about I don't know was it five months before six five months, months mm -hmm. five months before we started shooting the movie, and uh, we wrestled with uh, some significant world class wrestlers, and we knew that um, 
wrestling is very hard to kind of fake or oh, to yeah. choreograph or to yeah. do it at half speed. And so our, our director and his great wisdom uh, knew that we had to go and learn how to wrestle. And uh, wrestle was uh, not only wrestle, but wrestle as the best in the world. And so we spent a lot of time uh, wrestling. And we did it uh, before we started shooting, while we were shooting, any time we weren't shooting, we were, we were wrestling. And, um, and it hurt. It hurt. It was painful. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and I don't think I don't think you could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, still, I, I don't think you could do it uh, any other way. Yeah. And uh, I don't think you can have such authenticity with the way it looks without really uh, hurting a little bit. So. But it, uh, Bennett, uh, in, there is this wrestling, this authenticity, and the relationship between the two brothers. How did you approach this? Is this what uh, appealed to you the most in this story? I think within two minutes of learning about the story, I knew I was going to make this film. And I can't tell you exactly why but I was drawn to it and I discovered throughout the making of it, the research and the writing, the shooting and the long editing process, I kept learning why it was that I wanted to make this film. And I didn't really discover at first who these brothers were to each other, but as we peeled back the layers and got deeper and deeper, it revealed a, a relationship and a bond that uh, clearly had to be uh, at the core of the film and to begin the film with that and then to introduce them into this other world uh, of John Dupont. I saw a photograph of the real John Dupont, who is now deceased, uh, and you look very much like him. Is it important to, was it important for you to look like him, really, uh, to make, have the makeup so you could really look like him? Uh, well, yeah, I think the makeup was a component. I think it, 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 it sort of helped um, set up the character. I, I don't think it necessarily defined the character, but... It, it, it sort. I think it helped separate me from the, you know, the, the, the character. And uh, so, yeah, I think, I think from an actor's perspective, it was very helpful. And mm -hmm. and Bill Corso, who did all of the makeup, was in, incredibly mm -hmm. um, artistic mm -hmm. in, in his approach. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, it, it was a process, and it was, it was something that was was painstakingly designed and uh, and you know tried to do not too much not too little oui. and uh, and and just have it r resemble the man as a, as opposed to you know make me a, a doppelganger necessarily and this uh, helped to uh, preserve you from this character. Thanks to all of you. I hope you enjoy your stay in Cannes. And now you will be meeting uh, the international press, a Foxcatcher, in the official competition in Cannes. And 